Hi, hey, it's Sexy J. Welcome to another round of Quick and Dirty. What are we doing? New digital SAT, because that's what we're going to keep doing for the foreseeable future. Why? Because it's what you guys want, right? And it's what you guys need probably as well. So today's question type is the vocab question. So in the old SAT or the current SAT, whatever you're going to call it, it was the vocab and context question. So what is the difference? Because I told you guys we'll be covering the new types of questions. So in the older version or the current version, they had a word in this blank. And then they said, which one of these words is the closest in meaning to the original word? But as you guys can see here, there is no word here. There is literally a blank. So does that make a difference in terms of our approach? Not really, but I'm letting you guys know these are the vocab questions. And these are going to be the first, like, let's say, five to seven questions on each reading module. Okay. So how do we do a vocab question? I believe I haven't covered that before in my other video. So this is like a brand new thing for us as well. Okay. Um, please work. Oh, yeah, I figured out the eraser. Cool. Okay, so it's a vocab question. I what I want to do is I don't really want to be paying attention to the whole text because we never want to do that, right? Because that's a waste of time. So I'm looking here. I'm looking for keywords. What kind of keywords are there? Well, let's actually take a second to look at the question. Renowned economist John Burr believes that things are never certain, especially in a field like economics. Still, Burr, these types of transition words still. Okay, so what do we have? He believes things are never certain. Still, Burr blank that eventually. So this is the wrong way to do it. I'm not going to spend too much time on the wrong way, but almost everybody does this. They try to plug in every single one of these words into the blank. Never do that, guys. I'm, I'm raising my voice a little bit here. Don't do that, okay? Do not plug in all of those words because, A, they can all sound pretty similar because they put in synonyms. They want you to get it wrong. That's what College Word does, right? And B, that takes so much time. Don't do that, okay? Ignore the answer choices. Ignore them at the moment. I want to just transform. What do I say in every single video, guys? Hi, hey, sexy J. Yeah, I say that, but paraphrase, right? I say that almost every video. Paraphrase. So what should this be? So even though it's not certain, he says or thinks maybe, hopefully. You see, I'm not being very professional with this type of paraphrase of what should go here. Why? Because I want this to be easy for you guys and I want it to be natural, okay? Because if I try to make it sound professional, a lot of times people get stuck on the wording from the text, okay? So the actual text was still burp blank that eventually we will be able to build mathematical models sophisticated enough to provide data that can inform our policies. I don't care about any of those details, right? So what I need, things aren't certain, but he still thinks hopefully, maybe, believes, right? That this could happen. Okay, so what's a word that could be like, he hopes this could be the case, he thinks maybe this could be the case. So what I need, something like he hypothesizes, something like he theorizes, and what is that? Conjectures, okay? So I want you guys to get more of a feel for these, right? And not super scientific, but more based on your linguistic instincts, okay? So asserts, commands, those are both very definite. Those are not maybe at all. So my answer here is conjectures, okay? And I'm going to do a couple questions here because these are pretty simple. So for this one, uh, you guys can pause the screen to read the question if you want, but there have been constant cries. So in particular, in particular, another transition. If I have the word in particular, that means this is a specific example. So the sewage system has been subject to constant cries. So nonstop. Why? Because it's constant. What word means nonstop? Incessant. Okay. So this is where I got to pause a little bit, guys. If you didn't know what the word incessant means, you could do by elimination, I suppose. For the new digital SAT, you do have to study vocab, okay? You do have to study vocab. Now you may say, well, there aren't any resources out there. I haven't made it yet, but quick tip, guys, the vocab they're using here is recycled from the old SAT, right? The one out of 2400 that I got 2400 on, right? So just Google old SAT 2400 vocab list and the resources are out there, okay? So for something like number seven, not seven, my bad, number eight, most of us are not going to be able to get this because we might not know what all of these words mean. Renouncing, repudiating, deferring, remonstrating. So I'm already done going over this type of question. This is overall study strategy advice. Number six or the last two questions in the vocab, if you're not getting them, don't worry about it, okay? Do them at the very last step of your studying process. When you're getting everything else right and these are the only things left, then you can devote time into memorizing these words. But if you're getting other things wrong, then you guys don't really need to, for real life, need to know the meaning of the word remonstrating. You really don't. You only need it for the test, okay? So don't get um, intimidated, as I keep saying, right? And don't get distracted by the vocab questions. They're just one type of question. 
And the true high level vocab is going to be maybe one or two, yeah, one or two questions per section. So don't really get caught up on I have to ramp up my vocab a lot, okay? So that's it for uh, today's quick and dirty, guys. So the first, like I would say, six questions are the vocab questions. They are recognized by the fact that the first ones, also this phrasing right here, which was completes the text with the most logical, precise word or phrase, blah, 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 right? And how do you do these things? Do not plug anything in, right? Remake the whole sentence naturally, even slangy, that's fine, casually and easily in your own language, and then pick the word that fits that best. And if you still can't get it, move on to the next question, guys. Vocab, honestly, is not the most important skill for the SAT. So that's it for today. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see covered next. See you guys next time. Study every day with Sexy J. And also, like and subscribe because I never say this, right? Because I will be continuously putting those up. I've gotten a lot of comments asking about where can I get all the new digital SAT resource that Sexy J has made on the channel. They're coming up on the videos. So hit that uh, like button, subscription button, turn the notifications on because I'll be pumping these out, okay? See you guys next time. Bye-bye.